Welcome back to Squawk Box. Jane Frazier has been appointed its, to, uh, appointed City's incoming CEO. She will be the first female CEO to lead a major bank. New reporting from CNBC.com, though, revealing that former City CEO Michael Corbat exited that role much earlier than the company had intended after regulatory and share price issues accelerating that departure. And we want to talk to the author of that story right now to get the backstory. Hugh Sun, CNBC.com banking reporter. Hugh, it's great to see you. Uh, and great reporting. Walk us through what happened here. Yeah. Okay. So let's set the scene. October 2019, Jane Frazier wins the two horse race against a guy named Stephen Bird, who's an executive uh, who's also vying for CEO. And they, she basically said, "Look, you know, if you, uh, if I'm getting calls from other places, I'm getting calls for for other jobs. You have to let me know. This is to Corbett. Uh, if I if I have a reason to stay." And, and basically, she won that. She won that race. And at the time, people that Corbett spoke to, and this is people who are my sources, basically said that Mike Corbett was going to be continue being CEO for another two to three years. So this takes you from 2021, October 2021, to at least 2022. What happens yesterday? We, we hear the huge news of, is that he's leaving in February. That's you know that's only 18 months after that announcement. So that is without a doubt an acceleration of his plan. And so, but just to, just to explain it, the acceleration you're arguing is because of a regulatory uh, problem that, that the company is yeah. facing right now. Right, right. So the senior, senior insiders I've spoke to said, basically, look, for years, regulators have told Citi that their, their systems, their infrastructure, their technology has been substandard. And so, and, and, you know, banks, this is always a conversation, and obviously the regulators have the upper hand, but banks, what they do is say, look, now that's, you're, you're being a little bit unfair, and that's an unfair assessment. You know, we're working on it. We're, we're plowing a lot of money into it. And what happens in August? So Citi accidentally delivers nearly a billion dollars to the hedge fund counterparties, hedge fund lenders of Relmon Inc. This is really something that's so embarrassing. It, it strikes at the heart of what banks do, which is to hold money responsibly. And so at this point, you know, the jig is up and the, the, the senior executives, the, the people I spoke to basically pointed to this, which is, you know, for years, City was under the gun to cut expenses. And for years, Mike Corbett made the priority, basically, to try to hit targets for expense ratio, which is kind of a wonky industry metric for, you know, for expenses right. as, as, a, as a version of, uh, as a percentage of ratio. It was his decision, basically, to, to focus on the, on the efficiency ratio versus plowing money into infrastructure. And that's one of the things, that's one of the, the dings that he gets. And the other is obviously the share price, which is, you know, basically the worst of, of the six big banks. But, but just to put a fine point on it, are you saying, and I'm curious what Citigroup is saying back to you, that effectively Corbat was forced out as a result of all of this or that he did this voluntarily? Yeah. So what, I, what I'm saying specifically is that he accelerated the timeline. So in October 2019, he said, this is my this is my heir apparent. Right. This is clear. This is everybody's everybody agrees that she's going to be the next person. But in two to three years. And it's 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 undeniable that he accelerated that. And, and, you know, and, and basically the people I talked to say the reason he did that is because he was under pressure, under pressure from, you know, a Value Act, who's, a, who's a obviously a big uh, activist hedge fund, who's a big, big holder of city. Other investors, their, their patience is not infinite. So when you look at what happened with the regulators, you look at the, the pressure and their sort of uh, worst, uh, worst in class uh, share uh, returns. I think these are the things that, that basically said he's going to pack it up accelerate it. If there's going to be a change, you may as well go to that change earlier than expected. Okay. Hugh Sun, uh, good reporting. Thank you so much for bringing it to us this morning.